Project Duke, Dukes and Secrets, Book 3, is a thrilling blend of romance and mystery that follows Natalie, a successful interior designer who embarks on a project at the ancestral English estate of the reclusive, newly titled Duke, Alexander Masters. Natalie is driven to prove herself in the eyes of her mother, who is also her business partner, and this project offers an ideal opportunity to impress her with a resounding success. Alexander, dealing with the loss of his grandfather and recent ascension to the title, faces the challenges of being a modern duke. He must fix the rundown estate without losing his grandfather's legacy. Despite his aristocratic lineage, Alexander demonstrates a keenness for privacy and modesty, unlike the traditional image of British aristocracy. Upon arrival, Natalie senses a connection with Alexander, only to discover he is none other than the one-night stand from a party in New York six months prior, a secretive encounter where they had exchanged no personal information. Recognizing this sudden twist of fate, they both struggle with the burgeoning rekindling of their attraction amidst the professionalism their roles demand. As Natalie delves into the project, she uncovers a hidden compartment containing an old diary that hints at a historic mystery shrouding the Duke's lineage, intriguing her both intellectually and emotionally. The diary speaks of a scandal that, if revealed, could shake the foundations of the Duke's family history and the British peerage system. Alexander, initially objecting to the exploration of the diary's secrets, as he fears it may dishonor his grandfather's legacy, eventually concedes out of his growing trust in and affection for Natalie. Together they unravel the tale of a forbidden relationship from centuries past involving one of Alexander's ancestors, a love story that defied the conventions of its time. Natalie helps Alexander come to terms with the revelations of his ancestry, and Alexander aids Natalie in confronting her need for her mother's approval. Through this mutual journey, Natalie and Alexander's bond strengthens, with their working relationship evolving into a deep personal connection. Amidst the mystery and the renovations, the estate becomes a character unto itself, reflecting the unfolding emotional landscape. As the old estate rejuvenates, so too does the confidence and self-assurance of each protagonist. The mansion's walls bear witness to both the clandestine love from history and the blossoming romance between Natalie and Alexander. The diary's story of historical romance, lineage, and subterfuge serves as a catalyst for change. Natalie inspires Alexander to embrace his new role with passion and ingenuity, persuading him to open the estate to the public. As a museum dedicated to local history and as a venue for various events, ensuring the estate's financial stability and honoring his family history. Both protagonists are faced with personal confrontations. Natalie faces her mother, asserting her independence and capability as a professional outside of the maternal shadow. Alexander stands before the peerage and the local community to present the transformed estate and face the scrutiny of those who may see him as an unconventional noble. However, the attraction between the two inevitably leads to professional lines being blurred as their shared venture turns into a personal affair. Natalie attempts to maintain a separation between her personal feelings and her ambition, while Alexander grapples with the vulnerability that intimacy demands. As the renovation project nears completion, so does their romantic entanglement, culminating in a grand event that both showcases Natalie's talents as a designer and cements Alexander's place as a progressive duke with a revitalized vision. During the event, with the local community, peers, and press in attendance, the story of the diary and the associated family scandal become public. This bold move is Alexander's way of demonstrating transparency and new leadership by confronting the past. While the disclosure shocks some, it garners respect and commendation from the majority, thus transforming a potential blemish on the family name into a mark of integrity. Alexander and Natalie face a crossroads as the celebration closes, and they must decide whether their relationship is a fleeting affair or a bond with a future. Alexander is no longer the secretive duke he once was, having revealed his vulnerability to the scrutiny of the public and becoming an advocate for the estates and his own future. Natalie realizes she has gained much more than a successful portfolio edition. She has discovered her own voice, 
her ability to forge her path without reliance on her mother or societal expectations, and the excitement of a genuine emotional connection with Alexander. The book concludes with a resolution of the mysteries surrounding the Duke's lineage and the decisions the main characters must make about their future. Natalie's determination and insight have facilitated a transformation of the estate, leading to a successful attraction for visitors and a stable source of income for its upkeep. But more profoundly, Alexander and Natalie's involvement has shifted from professional to personal, with a recognition that their connection goes beyond a shared project. As they come to terms with their feelings, there is hope for a lasting romance, suggesting that their story may be the next chapter in the Duke's lineage, a modern love tale to be remembered. Both must overcome personal obstacles to envision a life together, Natalie letting go of her need for her mother's approval, and Alexander embracing his identity and responsibilities. Love, after all, cannot be compartmentalized or controlled. It weaves itself through their shared experiences, influencing their decisions and changing their destinies. The novel's thematic exploration of family, honor, duty, and the transformative power of love culminates in a heartwarming conclusion. Alexander and Natalie come to understand that their individual pasts and secrets do not define them. Instead, it is the choices they make and the future they build together that truly matter. Ultimately, the intersection of their lives leads to a conclusion where both the Duke's ancestry and the Duke himself are not just preserved, but invigorated. It is a tale of discovery for both the protagonists and the readers, as the enigmatic and royal past meets the promise of a hopeful and open future. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.